Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Asus Garage. I'm Kenan, born in 1989, the same year that Asus was born. When they were just one year old, they developed the ISA 486 motherboard, which became the world's most popular motherboard. They've been recognized by Fortune Magazine six times as one of the world's most admired companies. They're now a multi-billion dollar company that manufactures desktops, laptops, mobile phones, projectors, peripherals, monitors, and more. In this episode, we're talking specifically about Asus's impressive line of OLED displays. I've turned the Asus Garage red, so it's your turn to turn that like button red. Pop quiz on displays. LCD uses transmissive or emissive technology. I didn't always know this. If you selected transmissive, you're exactly right. LCD stands for liquid crystal display. Basically, you've got a panel of liquid crystals and a bulky fluorescent light panel behind them. The light from the panel shines through. It transmits through the pixels to light them up. Transmissive. This type of display has clear weaknesses. Namely, you can't control individual pixels. So when you're playing games or watching movies or for any reason, if you require images with a rich abundance of color, some spots bright, some dark, some totally black, LCDs simply are not optimized for this. You can't get true black on an LCD. True black is the absence of light, and the light behind the liquid crystals can't shut off in selective areas. It's just one big bulky light. The result is less accurate images, resulting in worse gameplay, or missing out on cinematic experiences as intended. So, LCD? No thank you. That's in the past. We want OLED. O-L-E-D. But wait, wh what about Q-L-E-D? Q-L-E-D and O-L-E-D are both emissive technologies. This one surprised me too. Q-L-E-D actually uses an LCD panel, but instead of a big block of fluorescent light to engage the pixels, like in an LCD display, QLED uses LED lights to transmit through an LCD display. And this type of display can dim LEDs in the area where black is located. So black is more accurate, but still not true black. Okay, you can get this one. OLED is transmissive or emissive technology. If you selected emissive, you're exactly right. OLED is a form of emissive technology because OLEDs don't have the bulky backlight. The pixels themselves emit their own light. How cool is that? This is the biggest differentiator between OLED and LCD or QLED displays. The pixels on the screen emit their own light. OLED, O-L-E-D stands for organic light emitting diode. The pixels consist of organic carbon-based molecules. They aren't alive, I don't think. These displays can be as thin as a sheet of paper. Their power efficiency is super high. And because each pixel emits its own light, you can get true black. If you need a singular black dot, a pixel can simply turn itself off. Therefore, much better for gaming and movies, especially horror or sci-fi. I mean, with that type of content, it's blatantly obvious. All right, check this out. I brought in an LCD screen so we could compare. These two monitors are showing the exact same image. You are now seeing the true difference between the pixel technology. Wild, right? Horror can be scarier, sci-fi can be more wonderful, more expansive, games more immersive, etc. OLED is where it's at. And Asus has an OLED display for you, whether you're a gamer, a professional, or someone on the go. We've got two fantastic OLED displays for gamers here in studio and a sneak peek of a gamer's OLED display that's coming soon. What makes the ROG OLED series gaming monitors stand out from other OLED gaming monitor makers are the custom heat sinks, the intelligent voltage optimization, and the uniform brightness. The highly efficient heat sinks provide better heat management to reduce the risk of burn-in. Then, a smart algorithm that's coded for the panel optimizes the voltage applied to each individual pixel based on the monitor's temperature. So you maintain uniformity across the OLED panel and further reduce the risk of burn-in. 
an optional gamer-friendly uniform brightness setting is here too for more even brightness levels. And they also have anti-glare micro texture coatings. These perks all live in these OLED gaming monitors. The ROG Swift OLED PG27 AQDM, the ROG Swift OLED PG42 UQ, and the ROG Swift OLED PG49 WCD. Let's dive in even deeper. The 27 inch PG27 AQDM is a very impressive 26.5 inches of viewable beauty 1440p OLED panel, 240 hertz refresh rate, 0.03 milliseconds response time, G-Sync compatible, it's got that anti-glare micro texture coating again, it's got the custom heat sink, voltage optimization to reduce the risk of burn-in, supports VRR on Xbox Series X and S consoles, VRR for PlayStation 5 games that include an un locked frame rate mode, they've thought of everyone here. If you have a setup that demands it, or if you're intent on going large, the PG42UQ might just be for you. 41.5 inches of viewable screen, 4K 3840 by 2160, 138 hertz overclocked refresh rate. That's a monster refresh rate for such a large, high resolution screen. Really incredible. It boasts a 0.1 millisecond response time. It's got that custom heat sink and voltage optimization we mentioned before, reducing the risk of burn in and that anti glare micro texture coating. Gamer friendly, optional uniform brightness setting. It's got a five way navigation joystick for easily accessing the menu, three stereo speakers, and it has a remote controller so you don't have to reach for the monitor if you don't want to. It's got rich connectivity. The display even comes with in-game enhancements like Game Plus, Game Visual, Ultra Low Blue Light technology, and more. All of these can offer you an optimized experience depending on what you play. They've really thought of everything here. You can even easily adjust your aspect ratio if you're playing something that would normally work better on a smaller screen. You can also grab this exact monitor, same specs, in a 48 inch version. The only difference is it's a bigger size and the ports are in a different location. If you want a slightly higher refresh rate and you're set on going large and in charge, then here's your sneak peek. You won't want to miss the ROG Swift OLED PG49 WCD. 49 inches super ultra wide 5120 by 1440 resolution with 1800R curvature. This is equivalent to two 16x9 1440p displays. Despite being so massive, you still get a 144Hz refresh rate, you get the QD OLED panel, the custom heatsink, voltage optimization, uniform brightness option, the anti-glare micro texture coating, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, Smart KVM, true 10-bit color, 99% DCI P3, 1000 nits peak brightness, a USB Type-C port with 90 watts of power delivery, DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, and you can easily adjust the monitor settings with a mouse using the Display Widget Center. Let's talk the Asus OLED Professional Monitors, starting with the ProArt OLED PA32DC. This model has 31.5 inches of viewable screen, all with 4K awesomeness. It boasts a 99% DCI P3 color gamut. It's got a built-in colorimeter supporting auto calibration, as well as Kalman and Light Illusion Color Space CMS professional hardware calibration software. I'm looking at you, professional Hollywood colorists. True 10-bit color depth and a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio providing the deepest blacks and accurate highlights. It comes with two versatile stand options to suit any scenario or setup with an elegant metal handle for portability. Just imagine being in your home studio editing away or on set in a video village with that monitor hood. That's gonna help reduce reflection and the bundled clip gives you cable management ability as well. This is just a bona fide beauty. DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI, USB-C with 65 watts of power delivery and USB hub are all here too. Now, if you want a world-class Delta E rating on your monitor, Asus has a professional monitor coming soon that fits the bill. The ProArt Display OLED PA27DCEK. This will be a 27-inch monitor with 26.9 inches of viewable screen at 4K, 3840 by 2160. 
RGB strips and 99% DCI P3 color gamut, true 10-bit color depth, and a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. World leading Delta E score of less than 1. Delta E less than 1. Okay, we got to talk about Delta E. Delta E is a measurement created by the Commission Internationale de Eclairage. I probably butchered that, but it means International Commission on Illumination. It quantifies the difference between two colors that appear on a screen. It's measured on a scale from 0 to 100, 0 being no difference at all, 100 being complete distortion. Now, a Delta E score of less than 2 means only discernible through close observation. Less than 1, indiscernible. So, this is a high-end, high-quality device. It's got Asus ProArt hardware calibration technology for color accuracy optimization, uniformity, and color profile write-back. It'll support multiple HDR formats, HDR10, HLG, presenting a lifelike experience and flexibility. It'll have USB-C supporting DisplayPort signal, data transfers, and up to 80 watts of power delivery to external devices via just one cable. Also, X-Rite i1 Display Pro will be included. Make sure to turn notifications on for that one. Absolutely incredible for any digital artist, editor, colorist, or content creator out there. But speaking of content creation, what if you're less at home or in the office and more on the go? Perhaps you're a digital artist who likes working in various coffee shops around town. Maybe you're a tutor driving around, a digital nomad traveling from country to country, producing content all over the place. I've been all of these things, and I wish I had something like the Zenscreen OLED MQ16AH portable monitor. This tiny unit packs a punch, allowing you to work, create, or be entertained entertained anywhere and everywhere. Super slim design, ultra light, superb connectivity, exceptional visuals, truly a great companion for your travel devices. Displays over a billion colors, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, Delta E score less than two, which again is super high quality, discernible color differences only at extremely close range, response time as low as one millisecond, making those fast paced action scenes appear flawlessly and giving you low latency gameplay. It only weighs 490 grams or about 17 ounces. That's the weight of just 10 medium eggs, a hardcover book, or for you homebodies out there, two skeins of yarn. Just think how useful this could be for travel, given that the screen is basically the same size or larger than most laptop screens, but it's so much lighter. If you need to be even more portable, there's a 13-inch version too. They give you flexible viewing positions with that smart case, and you also get a built-in proximity sensor that'll shut the monitor off if it senses you've been away for too long. The IOs are side-mounted, making the cable management easy and flexible. They give you a mini HDMI port, three USB-C ports, two of which support DisplayPort Alt mode, with the remaining USB-C port reserved for the power adapter, and the box, get this, can be used as a hood. Environmentally friendly badge goes to Asus on that one. Way to use every single piece of material at your disposal. And of course, this monitor is portable, but it can be used as an additional desktop screen too. For use as a bonus stationary monitor, check out the Zenscreen stand, compatible with all Zenscreen portable monitors that have that built-in tripod socket. That stand is sold separately. Well, this concludes our Asus OLED monitor buying guide. We've introduced so many awesome products today for gamers, professionals, and pros on the go. From the OLED displays that include custom heat sink and intelligent voltage optimization, high refresh rates and G-Sync compatibility, to professional monitors that deliver true 10-bit color depth and Delta E scores as low as less than one, to a portable OLED monitor that rivals even some of the best laptop screens out there, Asus can truly say they've been delivering quality products since 1989. And it seems they'll continue to do so far into the future. Let us know in the comments which monitor from this list you like the best. I'm Kenan, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Asus Garage.